And until people wake up and see it, they better hope it ain't too late, bro. And I be feeling sorry for people who don't see it. You don't see the snake. So you got to be a mongoose among snakes in order to see them. I'm a spiritual mongoose, so the snakes don't like it because I see them. You know what I'm saying? Bro, a snake is very crafty. They don't. A snake is pretty, right? A snake will make you want to touch it because how they look. They so pretty. They so beautiful. Look at the colors on the snake. You know what I'm saying? They charming. They look like they ain't going to do you nothing. Then they strike. You know what I'm saying? But a mongoose is always prepared for that strike. You got to have a spirit of a mongoose, man, to deal with these snakes. They're going to paint the picture and make it seem like they're on your side. But I'm going to show you how to test their loyalty, man. Tell them no. Because that's what I did. See, I learned how to tell people no. I used to have pride in like, man, nah, I used to, all right, man, I'm going to get you, I got you, da, da, da. Now it's like, nah, bro, I ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I got you going to make them mad. So why not just tell them no and get the no and mad fast if they going to be mad? You know what I'm saying? If I got you and I don't do it, you're going to be mad. If I tell you no, you're going to be mad, but then you're going to, you might respect it. I'm straight up, nah, I ain't going to do that. But they got some people that can't accept no like they accept yeah. You know what I'm saying? Selfish individual to the point where they will put a jacket on you because you told them no. You ain't do something that they wanted you to do. <laughs> I'm telling you. Bro, let me tell you something. I'm going to skip a little bit. I caught a charge, right? Trying to go score some dope. So the dude I caught the charge with, it was me, him, and his cousin. We went up town on Josephine, because that's where we used to score dope, coke, you know what I'm saying? And we were about to go to see Murder um, House to recall, where that's where you say we were going, I don't know. The manager was bringing me up there to get kill my sickness. He ain't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't know he had no gun in the car neither. I ain't know he had a bundle of crack neither. So, woo, soon I go, bam, bam, bam. They, I ain't had nothing but a syringe, a spoon, and some dope residue. Because I didn't kill my sickness quick with the one in one. Bop. I ain't holding on to that. I'm going to get caught with this spoon and this syringe, bitch. That ain't nothing. That's a misdemeanor if I get caught with that. So I'm thinking, okay, we don't got nothing. I ain't thinking this nigga a rapper. I ain't thinking this nigga sell no crack or nothing. You feel me? I have crack. You feel me? And they got a whole bundle of crack. But I ain't knowing that he got a bundle of crack, right? So they get us down to the 6th District. Because that's what they bring you when they arrest you uptown. They're going to bring your head down and investigate a little bit more, right? So they come back with a, 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 a I thought I, I think it was a 357 or a 38. It was a, it was a hand cop. So I'm thinking the police plotting this shit on us. You feel me? I had just got out of jail, dog. I was on probation. You feel me? I had just had a heroin and coke. I had a heroin cocaine. I got busted coming from by my partner in 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 in, in, in the Magnolia. I'm about to say a name, but nah, I can't say damn that. Even though it's old, you feel me? Out. Got busted. I wrote about it in my book. So I'm on a diversion program then, right? So bam, it wasn't probably a month. The reason the niggas came and got me, I was by a correctional officer house who I had knocked from the jail. You know what I'm saying? I was in my PT cruiser. And I had felt like somebody was following me that night, right? But I thought I was tripping on the potter. You know what I'm saying? You know how the potter be talking to you. Got you on the flight and shit. You know what I'm saying? But all the while, nigga really was following me. So I'm in the, the Frenchman Wolf apartments, y'all. In the east. So I'm by the girl house. 
I'm like, man, somebody fucking with my car. I had the 18s on the front, the 20s on the back, lion hearts. But they had a lock on the rims, you feel me? The white with the hot bar on the side. Y'all probably saw that thing through coming through. That was my white PT Cruiser. So, bam, that's when they first came out. Y'all probably said, man, PT Cruiser. Nigga, that when they first came out, they were the shit. So, bam, I, my shit was different. It wasn't like the rest of these nigga PT Cruiser. My shit was kitted up. But anyway... I go out the next morning. My shit, I'm thinking it's on a flat because it's, you know, leaning. That bitch sitting on three bricks. They couldn't get the other rim off. So I had to call her. They come get me. I had just left them by my baby mama. She stayed on, um, damn, I can't think. But she stayed in the east. I can't think of the, it's called a W, whatever street. They still stay around that way, her mama now. Anyway, so anyway, bam. I couldn't call my baby mom because I'm buying another chick and I'm cheating. I, my son had just got born. He probably about one. You know what I'm saying? And um, me and her had got into it. That would make me leave and go by the other girl. So all this going crazy, right? So dude come get me. I'm like, before we go where we going, bro, I need to go uptown. And that's how I wound up going uptown. But I ain't know that nigga had no crack. I ain't know they had no gun. So bam, when they pull us over, I'm thinking that we just, you know, about to go down. I'm about to take my lick. It's a spoon and a syringe. Nigga, I'm going to be out. You know, I ain't going to violate my probation for that. Them bitches popped up with a gun and some crack. Who this for? Everybody looking. So I'm thinking, but the two niggas know that that's they shit. In my mind, I'm like, oh, damn, these motherfucker planting gun on us. They ain't never telling me that's they shit, bro. Until we got to motherfucking temperament. Me and this nigga and his cousin. We on the dawn. Them niggas trying to get see murder to get them out on the bond and shit. Cause they ain't have no convictions or shit. So see murder wind up binding them niggas out. So they say that's who bind them out. I don't know. That's what they I don't know. I don't know if they talk to him. I'm trying to get my probation hole lifted so I could bind out before they put a hole on. But they put the hole on me. So I can't get out. Them niggas like, man, we got you. We got you, man. Da, da, da. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, don't y'all know, man, them niggas stopped answering their phones. I couldn't get in contact with these niggas. I'm hearing that these niggas at the corner pocket partying and all this shit. Mind you, me and the other nigga locked up. I got a probation hole. He got a probation hole. None of us could get out of jail. The other two niggas, this, they fucking gun. Now, the other nigga with the nigga I stole the dope from. So, the police had snatched him up for the distribution of the heroin and shit. You know what I'm saying? Good thing we had that boy Jason Williams on the case. Because that boy hired Jason Williams, right? I had two white-ass hunky niggas and the other two niggas. They didn't have no lawyers. So, every time we go to court, we on the same case. They don't got no lawyer. What you think they doing to us? Setting us all 30 days. Come back. They don't got no lawyer. Set us all 30 days. Bitch, I'm mad. Dude in there mad. They got us separated. Right? So in niggas' mind, hold up. Why? You was the last person I stole from. So now that jail go to playing mind games with a nigga, right? In my mind, these niggas trying to rail work. And I'm thinking, man, these niggas trying to put this gun on me and make me take it. But none of that shit planned out like how we all was thinking. You feel me? I can admit that now nah, them niggas wasn't trying to do that. Don't you know we went to trial, right? Four of us. In spite of us all thinking some... Well, them two niggas probably weren't thinking nothing because they on the street. But man, the nigga that locked up, we thinking that man, nigga, he, I'm, he thinking that I snitched on him and I'm thinking that these niggas try to put this gun in this crack on me, knowing that I got probation and they ain't taking their fucking charge because they keep on not having a lawyer, right? So I felt some type of way about that. We all got found not guilty to, to make a long story short about that. We went to trial on that. Not guilty. But if I would have got found guilty, I would have had this nigga gun. I would have had this nigga crack because I call myself Stan Lawyer to some bitch-ass niggas. Right? Now, this is where the twist go at. 
I come home after doing my eight year, eight months, 16 days, right? I reached out to this sucker ass nigga, right? Because I'm still mad about this shit, even though we ain't get found guilty. But nigga, I had seven months of my life, nigga. My young and thugging album and everything hadn't came out around that time, I believe. I'm watching my videos in, in HOD. I'm mad in the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Nigga like, damn, nigga, you just got out of here, da-da-da. Rubbing it in a nigga face. I don't want to be around these stank-ass niggas, you feel me? These two niggas, I'm here and I'm calling home. These niggas partying, but they ain't answering me. Man, these niggas trying to put their gun in this crack on me, man. So I wanted to get this nigga on my podcast, y'all. I put this shit on the Bible and everything I love. This nigga say, I, I, niggas. I wanted to put him on my podcast. You know, niggas tell stories. Just like I'm telling y'all a story. It would have been better for me and him telling the story. And me, and me telling him. But I still feel some type of way, bitch. I want to fight. Because that's what I was going to tell him, nigga. I want to fight after all this motherfucking. I say, to this day, 20, nigga, I went and did another bid. But I'm still mad because you niggas didn't take y'all charge. But it still, it played out. But I still lost seven months of my life. Because I was solid in the motherfucking jail on y'all shit, nigga. I would have had a syringe and a motherfucking spoon. That was my charge. But I'm sitting in that bitch while y'all on buying on your gun and your motherfucking crack. A bundle of motherfucking crack. You know what I'm saying? And you niggas talking about y'all got me. Check this out. So I'm trying to get this nigga on my pocket. He agreed to it. I never responded to this nigga, man. The nigga went to clout chasing. Don't y'all know? This the nigga that sprayed the snitching rumors on me, dog. I never gave this nigga no motherfucking light because the nigga want to be a rapper so fucking bad. The nigga locked up now, so I'm speaking on him. I don't wish no jail on him. You feel me? I'm still not going to mention the nigga name. But that's how karma work. When you do motherfuckers wrong, dog. The nigga trying to act like he don't fuck with snitches. The nigga lying on me, but he had everybody in the city calling me a snitch. A lot of them niggas went against me. A lot of niggas I saw playing with my fucking name and everything. I never said nothing with no paperwork. Ain't no mo just a motherfucker lying on me. All because, nigga, I want to put you on my podcast. Let's talk about this shit. If you wanted clout, you would have got clout better that way with me. Nigga, want to beat your ass and we about to fight because, nigga, I still feel. I think that would have been better. How a nigga snitch? And this how the nigga say I snitch, y'all. That nigga say, um, man, we wouldn't have went to jail. You it, Turk was the last one you scold, so he had to tell the police where the dope was at because they went straight to it. Nigga, the police watching you. When you snitch, nigga, you don't snitch partially, nigga. Nigga, you snitch and get a fucking conviction, nigga. Stupid ass nigga. You think I'ma sit in that bitch seven months with the nigga y'all say I snitch with sitting seven months and then we all go to trial and get found not motherfucking guilty? And the crazy part, the nigga who was sitting on that bitch seven months and know we all got found not guilty, the nigga went pulled up on him and these bitch ass niggas plotted on me and tried to say I was a snitch, dog. Out of hatred. Out of hatred. You think a nigga try to stand up for a nigga? You know why a nigga try to stand up? Because, dog, I live a righteous life. And controversy sells. Controversy keeps shit up. I never spoke on it because this nigga been trying to clout chase off my name the whole time. That nigga locked up now. Can't clout chase off this shit. It ain't. It's calculated warfare. I'm an old head. I strategize and plan. That nigga was down bad for that shit, dog. I ain't wish nothing on no nigga. I don't wish jail on my enemy. But let me speak on this situation. Right now is a perfect time. See how that go. We all got found not guilty. All four of us. Them niggas... Trying to insinuate me being a snitch. No paperwork. And ain't damn nigga. You know, but let me tell you something. If I were living in New Orleans, nigga wouldn't be playing with me. 
The fact that I don't live in New Orleans no more, I've been gone 20 years. Niggas felt like they could get comfortable and play. You feel me? Nigga felt like they could play. Man, they ain't now want a nigga be playing with me, man. Nigga ain't never play with me in my city, dog. Nigga know that. Nigga, now ain't one nigga who did. Nigga ain't play with me, man. Niggas play when a nigga not around. When a nigga, when a nigga didn't, 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 didn't change their life, niggas want to play. 